Hi guys, real talk with Tracy. Guess who's here? <laughs> Guess who's here? <laughs> this is Max. Can you see how big he is? He's a big boy. I got my doggy. Oh my god, you guys. He's so worth it. He's so great. And I also still have my little one, which looks like like Minnie. Hey, you. How you doing? Yes, you're doing good. A little overwhelming, right? Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update. Also, as you could see, Max has gotten his own couch, thanks to my husband, because he's really, really big. And he's a Irish wolfhound poodle mix, we think doing a DNA test, but he is a gentle giant. He plays pretty hard with the balls and stuff like that, but he's so sweet. Can you get his whole face? He is big. He's big and handsome. And he takes up, takes up the couch. Okay. So anyway, I saw his picture um, sorry about the lighting. I saw his picture on, on Facebook and he was from Camo Rescue in Texas. They're wonderful. They are a true nonprofit. So if you can donate to them, I'm sure they would appreciate it. They place something like 300 dogs a year and they're so loving and so caring and his medical needs were taken care of. He was abandoned in a park. And then his wonderful foster mommy took him in and through camo rescue got him neutered, um, all of his vaccines, got him chipped. And I just got to tell you, when I saw that he was in Texas and I was in California, I'm like, how am I going to get him here? How am I going to get this, this dog here safely, quickly? So I found K as in K nine as in number nine rides out of Houston. It's a couple and they're wonderful and they're fabulous. And they transported him with a few other dogs. He had his own kennel and they sent me videos. They sent me messages. I got pictures. The entire trip was under 48 hours from Texas, Houston, to right outside of Los Angeles to California where I am. So I am grateful to them. I am grateful for the foster mommy, Vanessa. I am grateful that I was chosen to have this beautiful dog who is already so in love and enamored with my husband. He follows him around. It's just crazy. And now, you know, my husband went back to work this morning. So he's following me around. We're doing a lot of exercise. Uh, besides walking, he's a great fetcher. And I have other YouTube videos where you will see him. And I can't say enough about rescuing a dog. Just be prepared. You're going to have to spend possibly a lot of money on vet visits because you want to know what's going on with the dog. You want to have a blood panel done. You want to have a checkup from nose to tail, ears, everything. You want to leave a poop sample to make sure they don't have worms. You need to really invest in your best friend, which should be your dog. Well, mine's my husband and then my dogs. But I've put in a lot. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at little Haley. She's like, he's so big, but they're getting along fine. Um, I'm not going to leave them unattended with each other. I'm always going to be here when they're together because he is big. And, um, I don't even know if he knows how big he is, but anyhow, I'm going to weigh him today. We're going to find out how big Max is, but I got to just show you one more. Max. Max. Oh, Max. Who is that, Max? That's our handsome boy. Look, <laughs> his head is bigger than my whole hand. He is just 
magical and lovely and beautiful and wonderful. I am so happy. I'm so happy. So I just wanted to share my joy with you. Finally got my rescue dog. It took a lot. And um, I hope you guys all find your right match. And I hope that you do not let it, you know, put you off if a dog is a state or two over because there are a lot of good transport companies. You just have to vet them and be very, very careful who you use and make sure they're with the dog 100% of the time and that they have excellent feedback. So just check them out. So from our home to yours, sending love. And most of all, my biggest wish, peace on earth. So please subscribe. Check out my, my videos. Okay. I have a podcast too. Check out my podcast. All right. Bye.